Well, it is going to be a hot one today. Welcome to the beautiful state of Louisiana. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to vlog. Now, we're about 20 miles west of Monroe, Louisiana. And the goal by the end of today's video is to get home to the state of Utah. We put about 1,500 miles on the Countach. It has been absolutely amazing. I love this car the more and more I drive it. Now, once we get west of Dallas, we've hit no man's land. Like, there's absolutely nothing. So, if the Countach does break down, I just pray it's in doubt. Now, a little bit unfortunate. I actually do not have a spare tire in the Countach. It does mean we can put a backpack out front. However, if we get a flat tire in New Mexico, kind of sort of a bad day. Another cool feature of the Countach, we have this battery kill switch that Curator installed. Righty tighty, we now have power. It's kind of the ultimate anti theft device. For some reason, I didn't realize we still had 22 hours to go. 1,497 miles. Every Countach owner's worst nightmare. We have hit traffic. Now, unfortunately, the air conditioning here in the Countach is non-existent. See, that's how you get it. A little sunshine for the left chicken leg. It's getting yoked and it's getting tan. Honestly, it is so refreshing. I feel like such a loser driving with the doors up, but we really have no choice whatsoever. Now, this dinging noise, the frequency is just right. I feel like it's going to explode my inner ear. It's either drowning sweat or self imploding. I guess we chose self implosion. That breeze is so nice. Look, it's so tan. How you doing, self? Drive the cross the country in a Countach. I said it'd be fun. It's a blast. Well, two and a half hours later and a full tank of gas, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Texas. God bless Texas. It's time to fill up. Okay, Dallas, I see you. Let's go, baby. Sounds so good. And immediately straight into traffic and the brakes are absolute trash. There is an actual tunnel underneath downtown Dallas. Can I get a God bless Texas? She sounds properly good. That is not bad. From 1987, I got immersed into traffic, put the blinker on, and just pray they let me in. Please let me in. Please let me in. Thank you. So we're going to continue the journey off to New Mexico, but before we head that direction, you guys know one of my all-time favorite cars is in Dallas, the McLaren P1. We're going to see it again. snacks and I walk back out and Sophia is working on the engine. The Countach burns a lot of oil, about a quart every thousand kilometers. You can see the dipstick right down there. This is quite possibly the most confusing engine bay I've ever seen in my entire life, but luckily we have Miss Sophia. I am not a professional. <laughs> I Don't say that. Know, it's a Countach. You are a certified Lamborghini technician, right? In a past Absolutely. life? Absolutely. Yeah. Just say yes. So clear. I can't even see. <laughs> That's you. good. That's what we want. We want I clear think, engine oil. I think we're like right there. Oh, we are so perfect. Just, maybe a little bit more? Just a smidge. Well, it's been a long time in the making, but welcome to the land of enchantment. Kutosh has ever gone before. Also, when the driver door is up, listen closely, that buzzing sound is gonna give me an ear aneurysm. I hate that sound so much. I wish there was a way to turn it off, but for whatever reason, that's the only way. Don't you love that sound? 
so good. My favorite. <laughs> as far as spot on locations we've been to, I don't think it gets any quintessentially cooler than this right here. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the beautiful state of New Mexico. I'm gonna beat you, yes, of course. <laughs> this place, there is nowhere. There is nowhere quite like this. The Countach looks so insane. It looks like a UFO on a different planet on that bombshell. I'm excited to announce today's video has been sponsored by ShipStation. Now, I first started working with ShipStation three years ago at Stradmerch, and it has completely transformed my business. It saves me time and money, but it also saves me the stress of shipping logistics. And if you have your own business, you already know shipping is the lifeblood of a successful business. And it's also super annoying, and it's also super tedious. If you've been on the fence about working with ShipStation for a while, there's no better time than right now. There's a two month free trial and the setup is super easy and super quick. Over 130,000 companies have worked with ShipStation to grow their business and 98% of companies that work with ShipStation for one year are customers for life. Now maybe you have an Amazon or maybe you have an Etsy and eBay, maybe you're a Shopify seller. Well with ShipStation you can consolidate all your orders into one simple interface. And with enterprise solutions that make warehouse optimization easy, ShipStation scales when you do. With ShipStation you can basically automate any routine shipping task. You can print out shipping labels, you can compare delivery times, delivery rates, and with ShipStation, you can get up to 84% off UPS and USPS rates. That's right, up to 84% off. And it really is just that easy. Three years ago at Stradmerch, I made one of the best business decisions of my life to work with ShipStation. They have transformed my business and they can transform yours. Keep growing your business all year long with ShipStation. Go to ShipStation.com slash Stradman today and sign up for a free 60 day trial. That's ShipStation.com slash Stradman. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it appears that the dashboard is going to fall off right now. We're good. No, we're, to we're totally fine. Now, mentally and emotionally, honestly, we're doing pretty good. Physically, though, I'm an absolute wreck. My left knee, I think I have like carpal tunnel from engaging and disengaging the clutch. But then my left arm, the sun has been blaring in the side window so much. I am sunburned so bad. My arm is blistering. Like, I don't know if you guys can see the blisters. They are absolutely everywhere. Whereas my right arm is totally fine because it's been inside the cab the whole time. My Utah baby skin, she's not doing well. Well, we just walked out of the hotel here in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and we kind of have some unfortunate news. I knew driving a Countach 3,000 miles across the United States of America was going to be precarious at best, and unfortunately, on the final day, like we are 10 hours from Salt Lake City, on the final day, the Countach is dumped, basically an entire reservoir of coolant. I don't know exactly what the issue is. There's no, like, obvious leak in the engine bay, but that being said, in a Countach, well, Nothing's very obvious. Now, of course, driving a Countach this far, we came very, very prepared. We already have coolant with us. We also have the 20W50 motor oil. We have more 20 <laughs> We got a lot of motor oil. We also have a fire extinguisher. We have the K-Seal specifically for coolant leaks. So it works in minutes, so we kind of sort of see. Uh, also, shout out to the homie Hooper for giving us his fire extinguisher. Luckily, we haven't needed it, at least not yet. Famous last words. And of course, we also have the full socket set. So you guys thinking we're driving across the country unprepared? No, we know exactly what we're doing. We got wheel cleaner. We also got rags as well. And we have a certified Lamborghini technician, as you guys saw in Texas, when you change the oil. Not change the oil, check the oil. Very sir. I'll let you get to work. Okay. <laughs> For whatever reason, my phone actually films a lot better in these situations than my main camera. There is a consistent leak. It is dropping every second, basically. That is a lot of coolant. So the coolant reservoir is over here on the left side. Obviously the leak is coming from the left side. We got the coolant reservoir right here. Hmm, there's no like obvious leak anywhere. Hmm. So because the Countach has dropped so much coolant, it's kind of hard to work on. We're gonna move it from here to there. This is what we've been trending for boys, all day. Luckily a Countach is a pretty, uh, pretty light car overall. There's no power steering though, so Sophia's got her work cut out for her. We could really use baby burlac right now. We got this though. We're good, we're gonna solve this. <laughs> Physically, I'm wrecked boys. My blisters are starting to heal on the left arm. My thighs are shaking right now, but thick thighs save lives, baby. 
Good morning, sorry. Uh, you're okay. <laughs> I legit just said the guy save I didn't know I they was, were there. I was like, I was like laughing because I was I like, it's all know. good that they're listening. Then you said that, I was like. <laughs> I had no idea. I can't believe I said that. I don't know why Sophia spends time with me. I embarrass her every single where we go. We're gonna sort this car out. We're gonna get this done. We're gonna get this baby back to Utah. Why am I confident? I have no idea. You guys know I'm an idiot. I'm trying to catch my breath right now, but now that the car has moved, a lot easier to determine where the leak is coming from. We're gonna slide underneath the car and try to figure out what it is. This is the worst footage we're ever gonna have in the history of the channel, but you can see dripping right here, but then the leak is actually coming from right up. Sorry, I'm sorry for this footage. I can see the drip coming from that hose right there, that clamp, clamp right there. Do you wanna see where that clamp is, Soph? It's right, gosh, I'm sorry, guys. Can you see my hand? No. No, right here? Okay, so it's leaking. This clamp right here, anything? Is it a big hose or a small hose? Uh, there's, it's That's pretty big. Pretty yeah. Oh, I see it. I got it. This coolant line right there. So that's the clamp we got to tighten. There's another coolant line right next to it as well. Sorry guys, this is the worst footage ever, but kind of gives you a perspective on working on a Countach. Well, luckily Sophia is thin enough to fit underneath the wing. Accessibility in the Countach engine bay is next to impossible. And of course the coolant hose that appears to be leaking is in the absolute worst space possible. It's not too high, it's not too low. It's right in the middle of the engine bay. Um, so lefty Lucy, but no. Actually, let's do righty tighty. Righty tighty, righty, -tighty, 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 -tighty yep. <laughs> I'm not the certified technician right now. You do what you do, and we just watch. We're just here for motivation. I would get down in there, but honestly, I don't know how the technicians, I don't know how they don't do, know it. How do it. How do they do it? How they do it? But this technique right here, this is unbelievable. It's crazy how my entire life has led to this moment in which I'm the I'm the tool guy. I'm the tool jockey, is what I am. Jockey is I'm that a word? I I don't know. I just kind of sort of made it up on the fly. I'm the tool boy. That's all. The I tool do. boy. That's what you want. <laughs> so obviously we dropped a lot of coolant. So we got to check the coolant. I'm sure we got to fill it up. Uh... So the coolant reservoir is right here. I just loosened this. We're gonna pop this off, and uh, I'm sure we're running pretty low on coolant. Okay, you guys can't see anything. You guys can't see anything at all. So I just got off the phone with the boys off at Curator. I want to shout out Hooper, Sean. And John, we have our magic potion, the K-Seal right here. So Sophia got that hose clamp tightened ever so slightly. And now, with the magic potion, works in minutes. One step, pour and go. Of course, dexterity is the name of the game. Steady hands save lives. The boys off of Curator told us to fill it up to about three quarters full and then turn her on. And hopefully that K-Seal will do the trick. Well, the all important moment of truth, we are gonna start up the Countach and just pray that leak somehow, some way, disappears. Come on, old girl. He's idling somewhat fine. We got a little bit of blue smoke coming out the exhaust. But, oh, jeez, oh, that's disgusting. It's been a couple minutes, but it feels like the leak is getting better. It's not dripping nearly as consistent. Before I turned the car on, it was like drip, 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 drip. And now, it's fairly inconsistent. I think it's working. We're gonna move the Countach forward just to get a better look at the leak and see. I feel like the K-Seal is working. Hallelujah, dry stock right, I don't know how. Uh, we definitely left our mark here on Albuquerque, but uh, we're just gonna let the car idle for a little bit and pray there's no leak. I don't wanna celebrate too fast, but it appears the K-Seal has worked its magic. The leak is basically gone. We're gonna drive the car for about five to 10 minutes around Albuquerque, make sure we're good. And if we are, off to Arizona. Well, right now, coolant temperatures are sitting nice and pretty, like absolutely flush right now. We're just gonna drive the car around Albuquerque for a little bit. We're not gonna drive anything crazy. Obviously, we're just gonna limp this car back to Utah. Unfortunately, Albuquerque is about 12 hours to Salt Lake City, so it's not a short drive. Wish us luck in the comments below. If you guys remember in New Mexico yesterday, my left arm is covered in blisters. So I gotta wear a winter jacket on the left side and then we're good on the right side. It's about 70 degrees in Albuquerque. We're headed to Arizona, so I'm assuming it's only gonna get hotter, but what can you do? state of Utah. I guess officially unofficially we're not quite to Utah but goodness there's something about the fresh air. The way the sun hits you my Utah baby skin starting to feel much better. 3,000 miles later ladies and gentlemen 
We made it to home sweet home. I also love how the state sign here in Utah is by far the coolest sign we've seen. The background, like, it matches the sign. I don't want to celebrate victory quite yet because we still have a couple hundred miles back to home, but this car's been nothing short of amazing. 3,000 miles, 10 days, and no issues whatsoever, except for a very, very, very minor coolant leak that almost left us stranded in Albuquerque, New Mexico, but don't worry about it. That being said, we are leaking absolutely no coolant whatsoever. Now, we have a couple issues. The car is an absolute filthy mess, and the white seats, you'll notice, when we picked up the car in Florida, they were shiny white, and now they are absolutely filthy. This car needs a proper detail. I also got a shout out, Miss Sophia. You are absolutely glistening right now. You have a little bit of grease on your nose, but that means that's because we had a great day. We had a crazy day. Wow. This is so sick. We just got to appreciate that view just a little bit longer. There's something about Monument Valley here in the beautiful state of Utah. I don't know what it's about the Red Rock Desert and the Triple White. This car looks just chef's kiss, chef's kiss. Could you imagine if the car didn't turn on? She's turned on every single time. Let's go, baby, let's go. I had you guys worried. Sophia was terrified, but I knew what I was doing. I'm a professional. Now, I don't want to jinx it, but when we got here to Utah, the car appears to be idling just a little bit rough. And then when we're on the gas a little bit, it kind of sort of cuts throttle. It's not gonna be a problem. We're gonna be totally fine. We're gonna be totally fine. It's just kind of like cutting ever so slightly. This is not good. The Countach, no, 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 no. Come on, come on. It is like 15 degrees Fahrenheit outside. She is hesitating so bad. Come on, girl, come on. So we're currently 12 miles to Moab right now. I, I don't know if you guys can tell, I think it's a fuel issue. All the temperature gauges are totally fine. Oil pressure is totally fine. He is flashing everywhere. Come on, come on. We're getting a weird check engine light here on the bottom left. Come on, Kuntosh, come on. She is not happy. Oh, and oh, she just she died me. as we roll into the gas station. <laughs> Um, well, welcome to Moab. We... <laughs> Moab does not like no, us. No, <laughs> Moab does not like us. The last time we heard the Hummer, I don't, don't even get me started on the Hummer. I just looked at my camera battery and it is flashing red too. I can't even get out of this car. I, I don't know. I'm hoping it's a fuel issue. The car did not run out of gas right there, but maybe there's water in the tank. I, I don't know. Maybe we got bad gas in Arizona. I'm just praying. Uh, but at least we're in Moab. Honestly, 100 miles that way would have been a lot worse. Well, 17.4 gallons later, $73 later. Hopefully, that'll solve our issue. Yes, yes. <laughs> let's go, baby, let's go. I have no idea why this car shut off. She seems to be idling totally fine. What is going on? We were not out of gas either. We had like two or three gallons. Like we were low on fuel, but it felt like a fuel issue. I know what it is. What? It's a Moab curse. We it's have the Moab, the Moab curse. curse. It is. We got to get out of here. It's probably hard for you guys to tell on camera. But she's kind of bogging down ever so slightly. I'm a little bit nervous. Come on. Just gonna pepper the throttle a little bit. Seems like above 2,500, 3,000. She's good, but underneath, and yeah, she wants to die. It's so crazy to be so close to home, but the Kuntosh is not happy. I feel like she's. Is she gonna die again? No, Kuntash, no, let me get into the spot. We're good, we're good. Are you kidding me? All right, you know what? We're just gonna park right here. <laughs> Unbelievable. Really? Like, we're two hours from home, so close, and the Kuntash has died a very slow death. Oh, well. I mean, when I say, oh, well, I say that very... I don't know, I, I, can't, I can't even think. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what else to really say. I think that's the end of today's video. Not really an ideal situation. The car legit died as we rolled into the hotel. Tomorrow the saga continues. And on that bombshell, that beautiful bombshell, today's video, yep, today's video is over.